Ladies and gentlemen, what have I been telling you on this channel? A lot of the things that I've said for the past five years or so have taken place, starting six years plus ago with uh, Clinton losing to Trump. Nobody was saying that. Me and Sticks and all of YouTube, about two people in all of YouTube said that Clinton would lose to Trump. And I kept saying, ladies and gentlemen, Eventually, mashed potato brains will be replaced by another Democrat. I think Hillary Clinton. I think that it'll be Trump Hillary 2024. But I have been telling you you'll be impeached. And there's a lot of evidence. And people say there's no evidence. There's a lot of evidence. There's a money trail. There's 150 banking, uh, de banking deposits and transfers and... Um, basically suspicious banking activity reports. 150 of them linked to Joe through Hunter, in, in, in shady intermediary, corrupt shell companies, and you have hundreds of millions of dollars into these shell companies. Okay, Very different from capitalism or from Trump's kids getting wealthy or rich. Okay? Hit subscribe to this channel right now to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, other publications. Go to hagoodman.com. Word of mouth is the most important thing this year, ladies and gentlemen. If you're enjoying a nice Christmas Christmas Eve dinner or Christmas dinner or New Year's um, and you're talking to like-minded individuals about YouTube or people that you listen to or enjoy if you could say, hey, you know what, subscribe to H.A. Goodman's channel, that would be greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. The House has formally approved impeachment proceedings. So the inquiry is going to lead to proceedings, which is going to lead to an impeachment of Biden for graft and bribery schemes. You don't have to be intelligent to understand this. Anyone can get this. Even AOC understands that money went into Hunter's accounts because Joe either promised or gave tacit approval to influence peddling, graft and bribery and influence schemes. People wanted to influence the United States government somehow to get favors. We know this from an email that that 50 intelligence officials did not want you to hear to see. So 50 intelligence officials lied through their teeth. Dear Hunter, thank you for inviting to D.C., giving an opportunity to meet your father. Okay, so Biden met all of Hunter's business uh, associates or the most important ones pertaining to the pay-to-play schemes. An earlier email from 2014 shows the number three at that company asking Hunter for, quote, advice on how you can use your influence on the company's behalf. Do I lie? History of the world. Um, who likes Mel Brooks? Do I lie? Did I not tell you, ladies and gentlemen, not only that this would happen, but for the morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrats who are, happen to be stumbling upon this, or for people who just say, oh, A.J. Goodman, uh, uh, or for people who say, no, Biden didn't do anything wrong, there's no evidence, there is an email asking for advice on how you can use your influence on the company's behalf. It literally asks Hunter for advice on how you can use your influence. It's on the laptop that 50 Intel officials said was a plot by the Kremlin to inform you of how terrible Democrats were thus influencing you to vote for Trump. Why is it that every single time Democrats get caught with corrupt activity. It's a plot by another country. You would have to be a complete imbecile to believe that nonsense. Okay? It's, it would be the equivalent of your wife finding you in your bedroom with, you know, the Hawaiian Tropic model team and, you know, doing things that Hunter likes to do on those on the laptop, and you saying, you know what, it's the neighbor's fault. Obviously, you're listening to the neighbor. Now, close the door, honey.
How dare you even accuse me of anything? And she's looking at you with all these beautiful women in your own bedroom. And your response would be, it's the Russians. That's that's what your response would be. Okay? No, honey. No. What you Don't believe your lying eyes. It's the Russians. It's the Kremlin. You obviously are influenced by the Russia bots on Twitter or X. Anyway, dear Hunter, thank you for inviting me. And then uh, advice on how you can use your influence on the company's behalf. The same company that Trump was impeached over when he asked the uh, president of that country to perhaps see if Hunter and Joe were doing something corrupt and criminal. Oh, my God. They impeached Trump on asking rational, valid questions of an opponent that actually did commit crimes, and then they say they're going, he's trying to influence or interfere. Then they indict him four times with very partisan, biased prosecutors who ran on locking up Trump. And then you have Hunter skipping. And do you remember when uh, a congressional a deposition or a subpoena? Do you remember when the Mueller probe? Remember all the um, apoplectic, hilarious, uh, liberal Democrats who were basically um, conspiratorial theorists that believed that Trump was a, a Russian operative? You remember those people? If the if Congress if Congress wants Trump's people to testify and they don't like what's this, uh, who else who was it? Oh, Bannon! All these people they went after. Well, Hunter didn't testify. Gee, I wonder why. And by the way, Hunter Biden should never have been indicted for tax crimes. He should never have been indicted for tax crimes. Okay, that's the one thing I'll say in defense of Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden should never have been indicted for tax crimes because it's about bribery and graft and pay-to-play schemes that Joe was operating. Okay, he doesn't this is the thing with Democrats and like left-leaning people, progressives who claim they're progressive and okay, it's not you don't need Hillary, who I think will be the 24 nominee or whatever, he'll be she'll be opposite Trump in 24 in November. You don't need Joe or Hillary or any Democrat engaged in some kind of pay-to-play scheme, whether it's a foundation or a laptop or whatever. You don't need them, and this is a very important point. You don't need them to write down, we are going to take a million dollars in speaking fees. And then we are going to give influence um, on the down low in a very surreptitious manner. We are going to then give influence where the media will say there's nothing there. And we're going to do so in a manner that nobody can really find out because everything will be um, so surreptitious that it'll be uh, seemingly above board. So you'll get a speaking engagement or you'll be on the board of directors of a company, and um, this way you give the money through uh, the board of directors or a foundation, and then we will give you, signed the Democrat, we will then give you the other part of the bribery and graft and um, the other type, the other um, part of the pay-to-play scheme, signed the Democrat who has written everything down in terms of how he or she will sell out the country. It doesn't happen that way. (laughs) So when people say, well, there's no evidence really. And then they look at a steel dossier and they're still talking about Trump as an operative of another country. The conspiratorial um, apoplectic among us. And so you're looking, ladies and gentlemen, at people who are either so naive or just plain stupid Or they're so stuck in tribalism, they can't possibly say, okay, yes, our side is corrupt. They don't even say that. They don't even say their side is corrupt. They just focus on Trump. When Trump's biggest crime, apparently, was a speech, okay, or hush money, compared to selling out the United States of America and influencing foreign policy, we didn't have—the Cold War ended— 30 plus years ago. 
Someone should tell that to Democrats. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. It's happening just like I told you. It'll be Trump. I, it'll be Trump, Hillary eventually, uh, but it'll be Trump, another Democrat, and Biden is essentially going to be removed uh, by his own political party and the Republicans. Give me your thoughts. Thank you.